Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. The new musical, Dr. Zhivago, which is based on the epic novel and the Academy Award winning film, has come to Broadway with a cast that includes Tam Mutu, who's making his Broadway debut. And we're here on opening night to celebrate with the company. Welcome to Broadway. Thank you so much. How does it feel? It feels, I'm very overwhelmed at the moment. It was a, that was a lot. It was like the, the, the audience were uh, like better than you could ever dreamed of, really. It was, oh, I know. I'm honestly speechless. It's a little bit like, oh God, it's, it's gone so well and everyone was so lovely and I'm, I'm very, very honored and very overwhelmed. I am, really am. What was today like for you leading up to your debut? What was your day like? Today was good, actually. It was just like a normal day. I, I'm pretty good like that. I kind of keep myself in check. I'm, I kind of have to think to myself, you know, don't think about it as like a big opening or, you know, keep each show. Is it? It's just another show. Okay. And then you hear the audience clap you as soon as you come out and then you're like, oh. And it's just like... I was going to swear then, but I'm not going to. I wasn't prepared for that. So it's like kind of like, but you know, my day was normal. It was normal. I kind of chilled out, went to the gym. I, I, went, I went went for lunch with my friend. It was just normal. And then, you know, to come in and do that was, it was amazing. It's like, it's, it's, it's cliches. It's like dream stuff. It's amazing. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. You know, because Tom, you was like, Richie, you get to the theater, you get gifts from everybody. You well, say, I, I got to be turned. And you're like, but I got to do a show. No, I walked into my room. I was like, what the hell is happening here? I was like, I left it tidy last night. <laughs> And then you think, oh, I've got to open it. And it's quite things like opening nights are always quite a little bit stressful in the sense of like, because you have to give out gifts and you're like, you're trying to find time to do everything. And I literally wrote all my cards this morning because I've not had time to do it. So I think I spent about two hours doing that. So that was a little bit stressful. But then when I got that done, I felt really good. So felt good. yeah, I felt really good after that. What has this whole journey been like for you working on this, playing this epic role and working on this epic musical? Uh, it's been uh, it's been a real honor and uh, I feel very lucky to be part of it. Um, uh, they've worked on it over a long time and I really hope that we've done it, done them justice and really sort of um, brought life to the piece. Because I know that it's been, it's been like, you know, a long time in the making and everything, everything that they've kind of Put toward put towards it all their efforts and all their you know, all the tears all the you know all the blood sweat and tears through it and I really hope tonight that we've like really opened it up and, and kind of given something back to, you know to the audience and stuff like that I think we did I think we did I think it went well so so much happens in the show I call this the Russian lame is yeah well it's kind of like that you know you don't want to make comparisons but it is no, a kind I mean, just in style is, you know yeah what well, it is in it's, scope yeah because it's it's an epic piece you know when yeah. you're dealing you can't do Doctor Zhivago by half you can't because the book's like you know massive yeah so and we we kind of cut it down a bit anyway and uh, it is big and you know you've got you know you've got I think you get your money's worth yeah I think you do oh, you know you got explosions you got like romance you got like sweeping beautiful sets you got like snow we, what else do you need you give us everything exactly. gunshots war exactly. love everything I hope so yeah. yeah I think so what is it like playing him Dr. Shivago it's good I mean it's quite I, he's quite cerebral I quite like it I quite like the other um, that's kind of like the, 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 the searching, I think the search, uh, it's a great word for him is searching because he's always looking for something and I don't think he finds it until he meets yeah. this girl over here. Um, uh, through all through his life he's like, he, he doesn't know who he, who he is or what he actually represents or yeah. he, uh, what he what he wants from life. And then when he, when he meets her she kind of turns his world upside down and then things start to make sense and then he like kind of immortalizes his love of a woman and Russia through his poetry, so I think it's quite wonderful actually. I think he's a, he's a great character to play. It's so diverse and he, go, he goes on such a wonderful journey and trying to, you know, one of these characters that tries to please everybody and ultimately, you know, it's, it's like a fallen hero. It's, it's great, it's great. It's great. singing the score. It's beautiful, isn't it beautiful? I mean, Lucy's done a wonderful, she's outdone herself, I think. I, I feel very lucky, I have, I've, I've, I'm gonna be like, uh, biased and say I have the best songs in the show. I think I do. I think Ashes and Tears for me, I love doing. It's a great song. Um, I do like singing our duet. Obviously, yeah. we have two beautiful duets, me and, me and Kel. So it's, it's, one, it's a wonderful score. So I, feel, I feel very, very lucky to sing it. So. Okay, so taking your bow tonight on Broadway in that yeah, gorgeous theatre. What do you remember that. about that? Yeah. I was, I, was emotion I was emotional. I mean, I had friends in the audience as well. I could see them. It's like, oh, God. Um, I, I, was, I, was very, I was very emotional. I kind of wish, like, I hope my dad was looking down on me and I'm kind of thinking, Oh, I hope you can see this from wherever you are, because it was uh, it was it was a beautiful moment for me. Because I mean, you don't know what to expect, especially when like you know a Broadway show. And I knew it was going to be big, but I didn't expect it to be like that. I mean, London, we kind of do things a little bit different. It's not as 
big, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, so it, I was very overwhelmed. I was. It was. It's, it's wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you look stunning. Thank you. How do you feel tonight? Uh, it's um, it's humbling. Is really the word. I, I, yeah. yeah, I've dreamt my whole life of, of being here and being able to be the leading lady of a show that I love, and um, I'm just so grateful and humble. Yeah. This is such an epic journey you take us on in this show. S the score is stunning. The the you know the sweeping of the story. What has it been like working on this? Oh gosh, um, it's been challenging in the best ways uh, for sure. I've had to go to some. Very very deep emotional places and figure myself out uh, in ways that you know that you hope every role offers you to, a chance to do so that's been great it's been long hours yeah. and you know a raked stage and lots of technical elements but at the end of the day that those are the projects you want because they are the most rewarding if you pull it off then you've really done something and so I'm exhausted in the way that I uh, want to be talk about the role that you play what you love about her and creating a role for Broadway what do you think about um, well, I play Lara, Lara Guichard. Um, the, she's Yuri's kind of, we say, paramour in the love of his life. Uh, I'm terribly in love with my character. She's very strong. She's been through a lot in her life. Um, so much hardship, so many, um, so many obstacles to, to finding love and getting what she wants. But she doesn't complain. Um, she's very direct, especially for a woman of her time. She says exactly what she thinks. And um, I'm, I'm drawn to her strength and her resilience. And uh, I think she's a. I think she really is a heroine. She's someone that uh, young and old women alike can admire. And creating a role when you work with the creative team. Uh, that's been great. It's been. Um, it's everything that you hope for. You know, um, Des Mackinoff has been terribly generous with me. Uh, he he mines out of me what I'm good at and tweaks it. And so he, he he does take what you know what you what you give him what you come in with and and shape it. So I have felt like I've I've been able to be myself in the role and and offer you know uh, to the role what I'm best at. Um, but it's been great. I'm working with legends: Lucy Simon, Michael Weller. I mean, and, and Des Mackinoff and Ron Melrose and Kelly Devine. I mean, the people that I've admired for so long, some that I've worked with before. Um, so it's just incredibly thrilling, and I'm, I'm very honored. And working with this cast. Oh, we have an extraordinary cast. I really don't know that I've met another group of people who are more talented, more passionate, and and more and have more humility. I love my company, and I love my leading man, and I love Paul Nolan, Tom Hewitt, Laura Lee Gayer. I, I, I'm just so grateful. There's not final, a diva to be found. Oh, <laughs> My final question is, when you took your bow tonight, yeah. Broadway opening night, do you remember what you were thinking? Oh, yeah, I remember uh, I, I was uh, kind of praying as I was bowing a, a prayer of gratitude to the spotlight that I believe is, you know, God watching us. It, that's what it felt like. It was just a, the crowd was going crazy and I was just so thankful. I was crying out of sheer thanks. Living in the light, there's nothing like it. Yes. And, uh, you know? and my angel card, which I pull every night, tonight said light. See? And that was, yeah. uh, it just felt so apropos. So, yeah. So you see a whole different perspective than what we see. I know. You, know, you see the lights coming at you, which is great. It's called living in the light. Yes, yes. Yeah. I would love to see it from your side once. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Who are you wearing? I am wearing Randy Rom. Oh, that is stunning. Oh, my God. Her clothes are just, she was doing bridal week, and I was like, well, I got to find me a boyfriend, and then hopefully I can get a wedding dress. No, they're, it's amazing. Unbelievable. And I'm wearing Vidora jewels. Really gorgeous. I mean, talk about apropos for Dr. Shivago. It is opening night. How do you feel tonight? I feel I feel amazing. You know, it's it's there's so much excitement. There's also, you know, it's so weird with openings, there's also a bit of a sadness in a way, because like we're not gonna be spending every day together. The producers came in and were like, you don't have rehearsals every day. And I was like, I know. What am I gonna do with myself? I, I don't even know. So but it's so exciting, and you know the fact that we, you know, we really created this thing as a company, and it's it's exciting. It's so exciting. What is it like playing her? Talk about the role that you play. I have, you know, there are certain roles that like you you think about it, maybe a possible time that you might not be playing them, and you're gonna miss them as people. She's just Tonya is she's just she's uh, what I hope to be. She's strong, and but good-hearted and kind and selfless, but she isn't a pushover. She's strong. 
and intelligent and she just I just love everything about her she's amazing she's amazing I love her working with this creative team and this cast oh, I mean it's like it's just I mean it's Russia so might as well go big or go home so and we did that with the creatives and this cat we have just it's one of I wouldn't say this if I didn't believe it but we have one of the best casts I mean it they're just everyone is so loving and people are like how do you keep you know like with a, it's such a dramatic piece I mean we laugh so hard we have so much fun it's just it's an amazing amazing group so singing this score I mean Lucy Simon is just the first day of rehearsal Kelly and I sang through our duet both of us are in tears I mean we look at Lucy's just sitting in the corner she's like you know, I just threw it together this morning and we're like, really, Lucy? Really? She just creates these things that just, uh, just emotion, you don't even have to work at it. Emotion just comes out of you. And I feel so, um, I just feel so honored to get to sing her music. She's yeah. wonderful. So when you took your bow tonight on Broadway at the Broadway Theater, do you remember what you were thinking? Um, I was, th I, honestly, what I was thinking is where are my parents sitting? I was trying to find them. I was trying to find them. And so it was, it, it was just, it was just really, really amazing. I was, so I was, and I was thinking, is my dad crying? And he was, and, but I was just looking for my parents. It's like I'm five years old again, and I'm like looking for them to like wave. You That's the best. You saw me. Okay, good. I'm up here. Do you see me? I mean, yeah. So it's the same thing. Right. Uh, welcome back to Broadway. How does it feel? Uh, it feels great. It feels, you know, I, I feel very privileged to be here on the many years of work that Lucy and Michael and Des and Anita and all of them have put into this show. And here I am after only three months of work being interviewed by you. And, enjoy, and reaping the benefits of, of what they did. It's such a wonderful role. What is it like playing him? Tell me. He's so complex. Uh, well, you know, I'm still figuring that out, really. It's, it's uh, it, you know, first of all, what a role they've given me to do. I, I start as, like, one thing and end up the complete antithesis. But there's still bits of that still there. And... Um, I get to surprise New York by dancing here, and I get to yes. surprise New York by actually being happy in Act One. I've only done kind of broody characters here, so this is kind of fun. And uh, so th I find that I, I, the, the character just has such a gigantic span that I, I, I'm very privileged to play him. Yeah. He's so beautifully written, because like you say, he yeah. starts out as one thing, and then you realize why he becomes what he becomes, because of what happens to him early on. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely true. They yeah. wrote him so well. All right, dancing. Your dancing is amazing. Those <laughs> Russian dance numbers you do, my gosh, your knees. Oh, my knees. <laughs> oh, the ice. Yeah. You oh, yeah. fly around that stage. I mean, how thrilling is that? You just seem so open and free doing Kelly Devine's incredible choreography. Yeah. Well, you know, she's made me look great. Her associate, Matthew, have uh, spent some time on me and whipped me into shape. Uh, so, I've always loved to dance. And next to a proper dancer, I've never felt comfortable saying I'm a dancer. But if you want to call me a dancer, oh, yes. absolutely. I'll call myself an athlete who dances. No, you're a dancer. You <laughs> totally have that together. Talk about this beautiful score, singing Lucy and, you know, the beautiful song. Well, you know, it's been a real shift because, of course, my first two shows in New York have been rock shows. Yeah. Rock and then a rock folk show. Um, so it took my chords a while to respond. And, and, you know, most of my career's been in the legitimate musical yeah. theater. Uh, and then suddenly I learned how to sing rock music and I did all this rock stuff. Uh, it's, it's, I love singing this music because it opens up resonance that doesn't exist in, in the rock genre. And it's another thing I get to surprise you guys with is because uh, no one's heard me sing this stuff here. So I, I just love it. I think her music is so beautiful. beautiful. Working with this cast. Uh, they're top notch. I, I've been the most spoiled person. Uh, I've worked with some of the greatest companies ever. And this is bar none one of the best as well.
I just love your journey here on Broadway because we fell in love with you in, in Jesus Christ Superstar, then we fell in love with you all over again in Once, and now we're falling in love with you all over again in Dr. Shivago. And yet, I didn't know you before any of this, and you've been coming back like season after season, which has been really great for us. Well, it's been great for me too. It's this the, the world down here is an amazing place. My wife and I talk about it. Um, the audiences here and the, the community here celebrates people's success and the, they celebrate the arts and I mean we are just so lucky to benefit from that uh, so I am so happy to be here to be honest yeah okay so when you took your bow tonight on Broadway again do you remember what you were thinking don't slip on the snow yeah that's that's what I think every night <laughs> I love that really you know some people looking for their parents their loved ones like please just don't slip yeah don't slip on the snow I did look for my wife, but I couldn't find her, so I it's gave It's a big it. house. It's gigantic. It's a gorgeous, one of the most beautiful houses on Broadway. Isn't it? That yeah. chandelier. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's a, it is a daunting space uh, when you've been playing smaller spaces. Um, but this show fills it. It's an immense show, as you've seen, and uh, it's a beautiful, rich, immense score. Everything about the show meets that space and uh, we were, I guess, the last cog in that wheel, being the actors. We need to meet that space. So. so my final question is, if you could sum up the best part of the experience so far with working on Dr. Zhivago, Paul, what's it been for you? Surprising people. Yeah. yeah. And surprising myself. Yeah. Congratulations. It is opening night. How do you feel tonight? Well, uh, now it's official opening night that I'm talking to you. Now it's official talking to Richie Rich. Uh, it feels great. It's really fun. It's fun. I got some great gifts, some beautiful flowers, funny cards. I'm ready for some food. We're open. What was today like for you? What are openings like for you leading up to going to the theater and doing gifts and everything else and gypsy robes? <laughs> it's, it's great. And I'm going to sound like, you know, Mr. Puff Puff, the theater veteran. But it's also kind of stressful because you want to do a really good show and you want to concentrate. And then there's all this periphery going on, you know, there's all this other stuff and these great gifts. And you want to like, oh, who gets me this? And I got to remember to thank him. There's so much other stuff that is challenging and fun at the same time. It's a lot. There's a lot going on. You're like, I got to do a show tonight. D I, Daddy's got to do a show. Daddy's got to do a show. You are so wonderful in this. Thanks. Tell me what it's like working on this epic show and playing this man. You know, it's really fun. It's fun, and I was looking forward to some, like, you know, quality backstage time, because, you know, I'm off. Well, it's not, it's not a really huge role, but I'm finding that's not the truth. I have to pay attention, because I got to keep, I got to run and jump on that train, you know, that's, that's running, and uh, it's running fast and loud. So, uh, it's great. It's, it's really fun. Uh, it's a fun, juicy part with a nice arc. I'm very happy with it. Talk about him. What do you love the most about him? Oh, I love uh, kind of the duplicity and the complexity of the character. I mean, you think he's going to be a bad guy, and he's kind of not, and his, you know, he does good things, but what are his motives? And it's really, really fun to play that, that duality, duplicity, the multiple layers, and, uh, you know, complexity of this guy. I was no, because we dislike you, at sort of a villain in the beginning, then you're like, oh my god, he's really a good guy because he looks out for all these people. He does. His reasons for that may be less than uh, honorable, but still, you know, he is opportunistic. You know, he's a predator in nature and he's a survivor and, you know, yeah. Exactly. And working with this creative team and working with your director, Des Makinoff, again. This is my sixth opening night with Des Makinoff. Yeah, it's really wonderful. You can always count on... Um, Des makes a really great room. He's, he's a really powerful, um, galvanizing presence, and he's really fun and positive always. You can always count on him on gathering a really strong, talented group of people. You know, designers and cast, and every time it's been fun and rewarding to work with him. I love him. Gorgeous score. Yeah, right? What's it like singing Lucy's music? Well, it's just great. Her, not only her music, but um, m uh, Michael Corey and Amy Powers' incredible lyrics. There's some beautiful, beautiful lyrics that we get to sing in this show, too. Yeah, it's wonderful. My favorite thing to do in the show is this quintet. I think it used to be a trio, if I remember correctly, in 2006, but now it's all five of us. It's the five leads on stage singing at the same time in sort of different, you know, places in the universe, and I love doing that. It's beautiful and complex and intricate and really fun to do. You've been with this project for how long? I was in the 2006 La Jolla production. 
Yeah, it's right. great how it's changed on its way to Broadway. Yeah. Yes, they've been subtle but strong and powerful changes. You know, the designs are different, uh, but it's been so fun to watch how they intricately chisel that very complex novel into, you know, two hours and 40 minutes. And Des always says, you know, <laughs> there's really only 90 minutes to tell a story in a, in a musical. The rest is singing and dancing. So, you know, you got to really tell that story tightly and well. And I think, I think they do. These creatives really, really did it right. And working with this cast. Yeah, my gosh, Tam Mutu, huh? Yeah, look out, Broadway. He's great. Paul Nolan, I know Paul from Jesus yeah. Christ Superstar and Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots with Dez and so it's fun. It's really fun. But the ensemble's great. It's it's fun and we have fun and it's great. When you took your bow tonight, do you remember what you were thinking? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking this is number ten for me. This is my tenth Broadway show. I was thinking, okay, here we go. Who oh, wow, that's good for me. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. There really is nothing like Broadway. There's absolutely nothing like Broadway. There's nothing like a Broadway opening night. And, you know, the show's always got a great response, but we'll never have the response that we got tonight because there's so many people that love us and we're rooting for us. And it's a really sweet sound, that sound at the end of a show on opening night. Audiences have fallen in love with the show. I was there the other day. They were riveting. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It, it, uh, it's got a really good demographic, you know, sort of people my age. And I hope that, you know, they'll bring the younger people. And I hope that the story of Dr. Zhivago, Pastor Neck's novel, and this story and this musical uh, is, you know, delivered to a new generation. Congratulations. It is opening night. How do you feel tonight? Well, I am just thrilled that, that it is finally here. It's been a long time coming. It's been, as my daughter said to me tonight, you know, it took longer to get Dr. Zhivago on <laughs> than to give birth to me. <laughs> but it's thrilling. It's thrilling. And it's, it's worth the wait because it, you know, it, we had to do justice to this fantastic novel, and so we've, you know, we've found the right moments. Des Makinoff is a genius, and you know, it's just been a delight. And and Kelly Devine, her, her staging is spectacular. So we've been very lucky, and I've had most wonderful support from my from my music department. You know, Eric Stern, who is my arranger. Danny Trubert did the orchestrations, Ron Melrose, who finally steered it to Broadway. And it just it's just been thrilling to work with all these people, and they've been so great to me and for me. And the whole collaboration process, what that's been like for you working on this epic musical? Well, <laughs> it's, it's a great collaboration, and there are fights, and there are coming together and agreeing and disagreeing and you know it's all that and that's what that's what's exciting because if everybody agreed on everything you know <laughs> yeah so but but this is this is thrilling you know we're all ultimately very happy with the with the mix that we've got <laughs> you know it's such an epic story so what unlocked it for you musically was there something specific well what unlocked it for me to say that okay I can do this because I was you know, I just didn't think I could do it. But the the last chapter of the novel are 25 lyric poems, and it's it's Pasternak's way of telling this story in another form. So there's prose and there's poetry, and in the poetry he he finds the essence of it. And I thought, okay, I can find the essence in the music. I can tell the passion of Dr. Zhivago in the music, and to create the poem in it. That was that was the breakthrough that we were finding the the poem that that Zhivago would write that would go on on through the through the the future, the edge of time. And I think that's that's what I feel most proud of is that we found that song and that way of expressing his his art and his love. The cast is stunning. Talk about your cast. Oh my god, I'm so lucky. They're Every single one of them is fabulous and beautiful singers. My God, you know, I'm I'm so thrilled to to found them and to get the heart of that. I mean, it's hard to get into the heart of an epic story because there's so much going on. But I think that that the the music carries that forth, and 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 the cast has just taken that to their hearts yeah. and have, and have put it out there. So I'm I'm really thrilled. If you could sum up the best part of the experience for you with working on Chivago, what has it been for you, Lucy? It's to be able to share this experience, to go on the, take this journey myself and then hand it over to the cast, 
and to the audience and to the people and it's it's been an amazing journey for me and I hope it hope it has for the audience I think certainly everything seems to to show that it that it is when the cast took their bow tonight what were you thinking oh well just utter delight and and gratitude gratitude I guess is the it's the best word I can find. They're all so wonderful, and they've given so much of themselves to this production and this performance. So I feel very grateful to be on Broadway with that cast, with our director, with our creative team, and the producers who have, you know, worked so hard to get this going. Anita Waxman has been with me from the very start, and she's just been fantastic. So, and everybody has. They're just a great deal of support. I am unbelievably impressed with the with the stagecraft, you know, and and the the set design and the lighting and the and the costumes. I mean, I'm overwhelmed by that that superb work. You look very dapper, the two of you tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Is this your Broadway debut? It is my Broadway debut. I'm super excited, um, being a part of an original cast, being able to play an original role, Liberius, getting you to create that, and. It, my Broadway debut opening. Like I'm, I'm just so I'm on cloud nine tonight. What's it been like working on this? What an epic musical! I call this the Russian Les Mis. <laughs> totally, um, it is very epic. I mean, if people are familiar with the book and the movie, they knew it was going to be something epic. And I think um, the, our director Des has really taken that and been like, "Let's make this epic." And I think they've done a great job, even with like the set and everything. You're just like swept into this, and Lucy Simon's music. I mean, I feel like it just immediately takes you there. Yeah. So I, I, I love it. What was it like for you watching him tonight? I mean, I'm thrilled. It's actually my third time seeing the show, so super fan. Um, but yeah, it's just so great to see him up there on the stage, and it's something that he's worked so hard for, and the entire cast has worked so hard on, so it's nice to see it happen and see the lights go on and everyone standing and cheering, so it's pretty awesome. How well did you know the book? How well did you know the film? Um, I had seen the film um, before um, this. Um, we had actually watched it together, and um, I thought, oh, that's interesting. It's good. It, I was like, it might be a little dated, um, but I was like, Julie Christine, Julie Christine looks beautiful, or Marsha Reeve looked amazing, oh, yeah. and you were just caught up in these shots. And so, um, getting into this show, I was like, now, Dr. Zhivago, which one is that? Is that, um, that's not about the animals, right? That's no. Dr. Doolittle, right? Dr. Um, Doolittle. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. But then, as I started researching, and I was like, oh, this is such an interesting story. And then researching, especially like my character, and that he's a morphine addict, and like all these other vices. Just like Home. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys are engaged too, right? Yes, we are. in January. You are terrific. Oh, thank you so it's much. It's opening night tonight. How do you feel? Oh, very excited. It was a wonderful, wonderful night. What has this whole experience been like for you working on Chivago for the stage? It's been a dream come true. I, I love um, I love epic tales and I love historical tales and I love this this movie, this book from years ago. And to be involved in it and to hopefully portray some of the Russian aristocracy is just uh, been a gift. I'm very, very grateful. Talk about the role that you play. So I play Anna Gromeko and she is um, of gentry. Uh, she's not royalty, but she's of landed gentry. And, um, and she represents in our play um, the naive the innocence of not understanding why there needs to be change. That things seem to be going very well or or they are the way they should be. And so her she symbolizes the disillusionment and also, as I said, the naivete of um, not really understanding what's going on in the world around. So what was tonight for you? I mean, you're in one of the most beautiful theaters on Broadway. The yes. audience went crazy over this show. Yes. What was it like for you? Oh, it was exhilarating. It was really exciting. What a fantastic audience, really, really wonderful. Uh, it just, it was electric in the air. So when you took your bow tonight, do you remember what you were thinking? 
I was thinking, look at all these beautiful people who so appreciate the arts, who so appreciate a good story and beautiful music, and we got to do it for them. It's opening night. How do you feel? Amazing, honestly. This cast is just unbelievable, full of Broadway veterans and new newbies as well with like wonderful credits. Just a strong, wonderful, glorious cast. It's just, it felt great. The audience was incredible. Talk yeah. about the role that you play in the show. Oh, well, um, I get to sing Laura's theme, Summer of My Love, which is just, I, I have to not think about it too much because it's yeah. such a big shoes to fill. So many people know this song and feel so close to it. And it really has just been an honor. You can, you can feel the audience's reaction when they 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 know that that's what I'm singing it and I actually sing it in Russian and in English um, and I think they do a beautiful job it's it's not on the nose it's not um, it's not when you expect it to come in the show which I think is a really beautifully done it's really beautifully done it's like a little a little present for the people who know the song yeah. sort of like people who are brought up on the film it was Lara's theme everybody knows this song yeah, yeah. so to have it put in the middle of Dada Shivago now Des and Kelly worked really hard in deciding out where this song was going to fit into the show yeah, didn't they? they did they did yeah, yeah and they actually um, in the previous productions it, it wasn't in the previous yeah. productions they had it specifically for Broadway so yeah. it it feels amazing to get to originate a role in the show and get to sing that song. You so. must hear all the sighs and oohs in the audience when you start, right? Tell me. Yeah, yeah no, you, especially because I'm singing without any accompaniment at the beginning of that song. I, you can hear the rustle, and people have told me that they hear people in the audience go like, oh, this is it, this is our song. So, yeah, I just feel the electricity. It feels, it feels awesome. Do you know Russian? Uh, no. Did you learn it for the show? <laughs> I learned it for the show. Phonetically? I the show. Yes, I worked with Ron Melrose, our incredible musical director, and thank goodness that I, I actually do have Russian heritage, so it was very cool to it's actually be a hard language, isn't it? Oh, it's it's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to learn for a song. I'm sure it's a lot easier. Yes, it actually did help, but it took a, it took a while to, to to get it down. So. Okay, so when you took your bow tonight on Broadway, do you remember what you were thinking? Oh, I was just full of love and love and, and gratitude. It was really special. It's been yeah. really special working on this show, hasn't it? Oh yeah, with I mean, especially with the the amount of years of experience this creative team has. I just it's such an honor to kind of be part of this family that that we've created. I just I feel really lucky to be a part of it.